Well, how do that, chums? As you can see, I'm over on the old interwebs. There's been a new experimental branch update today, just in the last hour or so, people inside the view of us. And yes, what this actually reads, expeditions can now be started from the space anomaly, as well from the mode select screen. Starting an expedition from the Space Anomaly allows players to carry aspects of their character and progress into the expedition. That's pretty freaking awesome. As well as taking this progress back to the main save file when the expedition is over. Oh, that's freaking brilliant. So that means even like legacy players like us, with our legacy characters can now run the expedition as ourselves. Brilliant, no more random character running around on the screen. Lovely, I might be tempted to do the full lot all over again. The purpose of this trial experimental branch includes a version, a version, so not the actual expedition, a version of the expedition, of an upcoming expedition, Expedition 12. This expedition will run as usual for players and platforms after this trial completes, people. Now, I have jumped into Experimental. I've had a quick butcher with my eye peepers. Now, it is labelled as being Omega. However, that's the name of it, Omega. However, over on your Twitterverse, some data miners and people that jump into the files have said that the actual legit expedition is going to be called Starseed, or the new update might be Starseed. There's a bit of confusion about naming, but I'm sure it'll become clear in the next couple of days. Dragon Sire has sent me over a whole text string of text files that gives you all the new lore, all the new wizardry bits, everything that's changed in the game files when it comes to text is in there. And I've got it open in the next tab. The Google Drive contains a shed load of new icons. I'm going to be putting that out there as a slideshow. Okay, big disclaimer right now, people. If you don't want any spoilers, now is the time to drop the video. Okay, because I'm going to bring up the text strings and I'm just going to scroll through it. I'm going to show you how big the freaking scroll bar is. Don't worry, you might get a few few sort of spoilers in this. I, I don't know, but here we go. Let's zoom in a bit more so you, hopefully you can read that a bit better. But I'm no text guru. I don't really know what I'm looking at here. All I do know is this freaking scroll wheel goes on for ages. Yes, and there's there's a lot of text in here, and there's some that just is linked to like you know oxygen on plants and stuff and things like that. I don't know whether this is because perhaps it's come out to a new like meta platform or Oculus, whether they've just had to put in a load of extra text files for that. But this thing freaking goes on for ages. All right, the scroll bar is just there at the moment, and look, look, I could be scrolling here for hours, hours, people. So yeah, there you go. There's the Atlas Plinth. Really odd. Okay, cool, yeah. Anyway, look, I'll just scroll all the way down. Look, look, it goes on for freaking ages, people. So yeah, there's a lot of text changes. Now, I don't think I've been sent a text file this large before. So I really don't know what's going on here, people. But yeah, uh, there's a lot of stuff going on there. Water Mission Story 6 modified there's, there's all sorts of stuff in here i haven't done a deep dive into this i really haven't so i honestly don't know what's going on there but what i do want to say is for a text file to be this big of text changes i can only but think this might be a slightly bigger ex uh, uh, update or expedition than what i originally thought it would be people okay so i'm just going to close that down now the actual text file, the actual um, icon file that he sent, I've put it together as a little slideshow. After that slideshow, I'm going to be jumping into game, people. And I'm going to show you what it looks like over on the experimental branch. I am planning to run the actual expedition in experimental branch probably this evening. So, yeah, look out for that.
Okay, chums, well, hopefully you enjoyed that uh, slideshow. But now I'm actually in game. Yep, so this is Experimental Branch over on PC. Slightly stretched, doesn't it? Doesn't look as good as on my, um, on my old PlayStation, I have to say. And if I go to Collect Expeditione Rewards, you can see here, there's the Omega Banner. The title of Starborn. Maybe it's not Starseed, but Starborn that the, the actual expedition is going to be called. Starborn. There's the Omega Decal as well. Starborn Runner. You see, a lot of these are called Starborn. Oh, look, the ship is actually a reward. A unique and exclusive starship for commemorating the completion of the Omega Expedition. This versatile craft is plated with radiation-resistant armor and engineering with aerodynamic profile for agility during atmospheric flight. Cool, yeah? We've also got Atlas Flight Pack. Okay, so it looks like we might be getting a new jet pack. Lovely jubbly. An exclusive exosuit appearance override, a lightweight jet pack, welded from the stellar alloys around the fiery crimson core. Very cool. And an Atlas Scepter as well. Forged by the Corvax priests themselves, people in the viewerverse. Pretty lovely stuff. There is a second page as well. We're getting the Atlas Head Shield. A softer but immutable heartbeat resonates through your skull when you wear this helmet. Atlas. The pole, strangely soothing. Very cool. That does look pretty darn swanky. That might become my new helmet, people in the view of us. Okay, we've got a Starborn poster. Oh, I love that. That's so retro. Oh, it's like the old Atari 2600. Interface poster. Very nice. And a Remembrance poster. Hmm. Okay. Cool, yeah. And that looks like everything that's going to be as in the Expedition Rewards. Very nice. But this is a version. A version of the Expedition. I don't know where we're supposed to be able to run all the other Expeditions from. Or whether they've actually added that in as yet. I mean, here's the Nexus here. I can't see it running from there. The only other place I can think of that we might be able to pick this up from is perhaps up with the new autophage robot, which I don't think... <laughs> My jetpack isn't strong enough to get me up there. OK, I'll see you up there, people. Oh, no. I, ooh, I can't move my mouse. That moves the screen around massively. All right, let's go up here, then. Let's just walk up. Lovely, lovely. Heading up here. I don't play much on the PC, people, so this is all a little bit new to me. I'm going to head on over this way. Hold on. What the fudge is that there? What the... Is this how we run them, then? Oh, fudge in the heck! I teleported down here! Oh, they've added in a new teleporter. Oh, I like! Oh, that's so convenient. Okay. Yeah, because I always fly up through that window. Where's the autophage gone? He's gone. He's freaking gone, people. Where is man, spider? Oh, it's probably because I haven't done it on this save. I'm probably going to have to go through it all to get him to appear there. Oh, OK. All right, fine. Well, I guess I'm not running any new expeditions anytime soon. Unless it's from somebody else, I'd have to go round and, and check everybody. But that's going to take me a lifetime to work out who gives you the mission. OK, chums. Well, I ran round the Nexus looking for this console. And you know what? It was right in front of me the whole time. By the way, the bar at the back of the actual um, kiosk is back again now. So that's all good. But look, there's a whole new kiosk right here, people in the view of us. Heck yes. Look at that. Right there. I ran straight past the dang thing. There you go. Freaking awesome. So yeah, you can just select equipment as well. Freaking mental. Wow. Okay. So yeah, I, I could take a few things in with me. And with cargo. But this is a fresh save, so I've got hardly anything. But that's actually really pretty freaking awesome. I'm well happy with this. This is this is so cool. I was really hoping they would give away to rerun the expeditions whenever you wish people on the side of your verse. It really was. Something that I speculated on and something that's come to fruition. Heck yes! Brilliant, eh? Anyway, people, there's that. Cool. And uh yeah, quick back out to mode select. And we'll jump inside of the expedition. And we'd have a look at some of the badges that are going to be in there, shall we? So we go. There's the new tile for it. Expedition. Let's jump on in there. Oh, from the mode select screen. I might be able to select them from there as well, come to think of it. Okay, jump as well. Jumping into the old expedition. Let's, let's see what comes up then, shall we? 
Oh, okay. Lovely. Is that... What? There's a giant crashed freighter in space that I'm looking at. That's unusual. Okay. Cool. I only came in here to look at the freaking badges for the expedition. I wonder if we're all going to start staring at a giant crashed freighter in the sky like that. Freaking craziness. Right, come on then. Load in, load in. Coolio, coolio. So I'll just turn the volume up just a tad. Oh, we've got an alien multi tool. Interesting start and loadout. There we go. Great, lovely, jubbly. All right, let's hold that to skip then. Skip. Nice. Okay, let's go into the old expedition tab and let's see what we've got then. So, phase one. Escape Velocity, locate your starship. Nice one. Then we've got Homecoming, establish your first base. Coolio. Exobotany, discover six plants. Easy peasy. Warped into a new system. Cool. Find the space anomaly. Coolio. Then we've got Scavenger, repair a multi tool damage. Okay, fine. Lovely job. And then we've got Rendezvous 1. Reach Rendezvous... Oh, that's a different badge for Rendezvous. It's normally, it's like little stars on a ship, isn't it? Research Project. Cool, yeah? Research Rendezvous World. Get yourself a Companion Egg. Companion Egg? I don't remember seeing a Companion in the Expedition Rewards. Interesting. Maybe it's just a random Companion. Okay, right. Atlas. Okay, witness the Atlas. Cool. Okay, fine, yeah. I guess we're going to the Atlas uh, area then. Reality Grains. Okay, expand your reality. It's lovely jubbly. I mean, that's got an underwater sort of element to it. I wonder if that links into those text files where we were seeing underwater mission. Could do, couldn't it? Hopefully this expedition might have quite a lot of lore with it, is what I'm hoping. Stardust. Destroy some asteroids. Grow your base. Lovely jubbly. To infinity, enter a black hole. Cool. Memento. Uh, Memento. Oh, it's somewhere there. Memento. Build a Wonders Projector. Okay, cool, here. Yeah. And rendezvous, second rendezvous point. Okay, cool. And then that's that's that one done, then. Okay, phase three. One man's treasure. Buried items, dig up buried items. Photograph three different environments. Oh, lovely. Uh, they always probably do that ambiently, that one. Discover 12 underwater creatures. Just 12 creatures, just any 12 creatures. Lovely. Hot Pursuit, smuggle some contraband. Oh, that'd be fun. Assembly required. Hmm. Manufacturing liquid explosives. Hmm. Okay. Unbound, view the second memory dump. Okay, cool. I don't know what that is exactly. And reach rendezvous three. Do some more documented research. Yes. Research the rendezvous world. Cool. This looks like it could be quite a long one, really, doesn't it? Okay, uh, Relic Hunter, Underwater Relic, uh, you know, me oh, it's not Underwater actually, it just says Relic, doesn't it? Cool. Fallen Giants, but that's got like an Underwater icon to it. Visit the Sunken Freighter, cool. Acquire a Sentinel Interceptor, sweet. Eliminate Sentinels, Boundary Failure, ooh, sneaky. Okay, a Planet Cleanser, Bake Some Biscuits. Could we bake biscuits before? I remember doing cakes and ice creams, but not biscuits. Have they added in more food? Why? Deep glass, the third memory. Okay, coolio. Memory of the void. Ooh, ooh. And it says deep glass, but that shows space on there. That looks like one of those skulls in space. Okay, cool. Rendezvous four. Document another world. And that's pretty much that one. Okay, phase four. Find a fragment from another reality. Oh, you're so teasing me. You're so teasing me. Okay, astrolinguists. I'm just wondering whether we're going to go into the void or something. I mean, like, every single update, you know. Blue Expanse, visit a blue star. Discover one exotic creature. Teasy peasy, lemon squeezy. View the final memory. Okay, cool. Wow. Okay, all right. Eclipse, return to the Atlas. 
There's a purple atlas symbol. Does that mean we might be talking to the Void Mother? She's very purple. And we've got the Rendezvous 5. Whenever she talks, it's purple text. Research Project 5. And then that's the end. Final phase. Lovely jubbly. Awesome, awesome. Remembrance poster. Starborn poster. Atlas head shield. 1,200 quicksilver. Another 1,200 quicksilver. And an Atlas spectre. Nice one. Atlas flight pack. Another 1,200 Quicksilver. I'm wondering whether Quicksilver is going to be a secondary reward for everything. Because if we can rerun these expeditions whenever we want, that would be a very good way to up your Quicksilver, wouldn't it? Heck yes, it would. I know I'd just rerun them for a bit of fun. Title Starborn, a Mega Decal Plans, a Mega Banner. Isn't it funny how we've got title of Starborn and a few other bits that say Starborn and then others that say Omega. I'm wondering whether when this actually releases, whether it will change from Omega to being Starborn. But we shall see. Anyway, people, that's pretty much everything I've got inside of the actual game for you. I mean, yes, I will be running this expedition later this evening, hopefully. But until then, hopefully, if you're at work and you can't run this right now, like I can't, this is my freaking lunch break and an extended one at that. I'm going to have to make the time up. But yeah, uh, yeah, anyway, oh, I better get off of here and, uh, and, and get back to doing some work, people inside of your verse, I guess. So there we go, people. Please hit that like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss when I go live with the actual expedition. Hopefully I'll be running this around 6pm in my time. Just need to have a cup of tea, sit down with Ivy and get ready. So yeah, really looking forward to running the expedition to see what's enclosed in there. This is a version of the expedition, just a version. So I honestly think there could be changes afoot. So what you see inside of experimental play for any content creators, don't take it as gospel as that's what's going to land in the update. Hello Games have been sneaky in the past. Think of when we got that little gold shield and it had a golden freighter on it and everybody thought we were getting a golden freighter and then it changed and we got the Normandy and even the whole expedition name changed. I think it's going to be something like that. Quick, like, slip and slip. Yeah, whatever it is. Anyway, anyway goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.